Hi everyone, my name is Sydney and I'm a senior studying environmental science with a theater minor and certificates in GIS and sustainability. Today I will be showing you around Holland Hall, floor four north. I'm um, just kind of giving you like a tour of what the inside looks like as well as some of my knowledge as not only an RA or resident assistant, but as a resident who lived on this floor four years ago. So super excited to show you all around and to just kind of give you the inside experience. I would love to be giving you this tour in person, but unfortunately, due to circumstances, I cannot. But just like my floor decorations say, the show must go on. And so welcome to the show. Let's get this started. <laughs> so like I mentioned, um, this is Holland 44 North. Holland is set up into two different sides or wings, so North and South. North is for usually female, female identifying students, while South is for male identifying students. And there's really not a difference of like what they are and like what they'll be. So here are some rooms. Uh, the thing I like about Holland is that it's actually shaped like an H. So one side will have rooms all the way down and then you'll have a hallway that will connect the two sides, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but basically every residence hall is going to have things like bulletin boards of information. Hello. <laughs> and from residents who are walking around. Um, in addition to that, um, you can kind of make the rooms however you want. Um, and then one great thing I like about Hala is that there are kitchenettes. So what you might expect to be a kitchenette might be a little different from the definition, but here we have a sink, a microwave, and a mini fridge. Super great for washing dishes, making food, um, or just kind of socializing with other residents who are also maybe doing things like chores. One of my favorite parts about the hall is that we actually have chalkboards, so it's a great way for residents to communicate with each other or to communicate with me. Um, a lot of people doodle on them, and I really love that because I have the Arts LLC, so a lot of my residents are very artistic. Um, so yeah, going down to this floor, this is still the continuation of my residence. And then through this door is where the male identifying students would be, so I'll try to turn. So yeah, basically down that hall, it's identical. So everything you've seen over here would be over there um, just for the males. So I will show you my room. <laughs> like I said, as an RA, my room's a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, mine comes with a lot of door decks, as you can see from my past few years as an RA, but I'll show you what it looks like inside and yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna be going into my room. As a resident assistant or an RA, my room looks a little bit different. Um, but they're around the same sizes. As you can see, there is a ceiling fan, which is great because Holland actually doesn't have air conditioning. I lived here as a first year student and as a senior and literally it's fine. It gets so cold here in Pittsburgh that like, you won't really notice it. Um, okay, so everything that in the room, <laughs> everything in the room that's wooden comes with it. So um, the bed, the desk, um, the dressers, and I think that's about it. it, comes with the room. So that's super convenient. Um, what I love about Holland is that you can decorate it any way you want to. Um, my room is probably like the typical size of a Holland room. Um, sometimes singles are a little bit smaller, but it's definitely a livable space for residents um, and myself. Um, I have a lot of Chicago memorabilia because that's where I'm from. Um, and it has a lot of space. So as you can see here, I have a trampoline, um, <laughs> so that's really exciting. So there is a lot of space in these rooms and there's also um, a way to decorate it any kind of way you want. So I have um, like pictures up and stuff um, and things like that. So um, yeah, that's basically about it. As you can see, like I said, I do have a lot of Chicago memorabilia. I have a there with the Chicago shirt on. I have a Chicago flag. Um, and you're probably wondering why is someone from Chicago, how did they end up here at Pitt? Um, I'll tell you. So basically, I when I visited Pitt, I thought it was kind of false advertising because I didn't think it was an urban campus. Um, but when I visited and toured, I fell in love with the campus. Um, and so that was really awesome for me. I thought it was a really great mix of like urban, I call it a bite-sized city. So I think it's a great size, but also like not too big, like New York or Chicago where you can get lost and stuff like that. I think there's so much you can do. So for me, I love 
art and I love food and I love sports. <laughs> so there's still a lot of that stuff here on campus. And getting to know my residents, like there are so many that haven't visited and that's still committed and they truly love it here. And they truly have found a place that feels like home, which I think is the most important part of a college experience. And even before COVID, I had a lot of friends who didn't visit. And once they got to campus, they knew they made a right choice. So I know it seems like visiting colleges is kind of necessary, but it's really not. Um, and so I think, you know, when you just can kind of see the things that are on campus and, you know, you have the freedom to kind of uh, explore campus and just kind of wait until you get there. And I think sometimes that makes it even better because you don't have any major expectations. And so you can kind of make it what you want to make it. But Hopefully you enjoyed my room tour. Um, my name is Sydney Dubois, like I said, and have a good luck with the rest of your college experience. Bye.